Okay, so I've come into my kitchen. I've got my um, tank here. So we're gonna try and get whatever it is in there, in that tiny little hole. Now, I, I'm not, I'm not one for following instructions, I'm going to be honest. Um, you need to follow the instructions because it's very important or you might void the warranty of your machine. Um, but I, I don't really like instructions. So this says to me that I need to put in one litre of water for 250 millilitres of cleaner. Oh look, that's quite good. Um, so it tells you how much cleaner and water to put in. Um, and then is there a max? Maybe not. Maybe that is the max there. Um, so I'm going to filter there with water and then I'm going to go up to there with cleaner. That's helpful because I don't really like measuring stuff. So um, now you do only get a tiny little bottle of cleaner. So I am going to use this, but then I don't, I've got massive bottles of Vax floor cleaner. So I'm going to pour that in there in the tiny little hole really inconvenient little hole this seems like quite a lot of stuff to put in doesn't it 250 ml for a litre I mean how much is in here 250 ml so that's like the whole bottle that's like one wash that's, that's a lot of cleaner anyway there we go um, so that can go in my recycling that bottle and then normally you use hot water yeah, 40 degrees Celsius. So I've got a multi point boiler, so I'm going to turn that on. Lots of temperature, so I'm just going to fill this up. But like, it's not, that is not easy trying to see how much you put in when you've got to lie it on its side. Unless, like, you're meant to line up that with. I don't know. That'll probably do. Let's go and test it on that stove. Okay, so I've got my at my stain. I'm going to plug this in. My extension lead um, over here. So, like I said, I've actually no idea what this start patch is. It may just be ground in dirt over the time because we do have two dogs, three cats. I have an eleven-year-old and a husband. I'm not going to say which I think makes the most mess out of that selection. Um, but I'm going to have a little go at this and see um, how this works. So, turn it on. It might be noisy. Quite noisy. Okay. Oh, that's good. So you press this button to get the water out. So I'm gonna just do that. see the colour of the water. Now I haven't done my carpets for, I don't know, a month and a half. I do do them quite a lot with my big back. Okay, I'm going to leave that to dry and see what it looks like when it's dry. I'm also just going to go and do some other spots, um, but I'm going to try out the other brush, which is here. I'm going to take this one off. I mean, you can see all the dog hair. Um, the thing is, if you get a dog that sheds, then you have to deal with the shedding in your house. If you get a dog that doesn't shed, you have to take them to the groomers. I didn't see that there's, I mean, it takes me maybe a little bit of time to get the dog hair up every week when, they, when they're shedding. But I have to pay out for a groomer. My dog doesn't have to get stressed at the groomers. So I don't really see that it's particularly advantageous unless you have allergies. Um, oh, so you're doing good, you little puppies. Uh, the other one has disappeared because she also hates machinery, but she's not quite as crazy with it. So um, she's she's gone in the kitchen to a happy place. Uh, just excuse, uh, like, I've literally just dumped stuff on chairs. Move it out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to have a go at this stain down here. So there's the there's the stain. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that one and I'm gonna leave the other one to dry for a while. Um and then I will show you the results in a bit.